You wanna learn to protect the rock, you in the right place. Want all the steals just to stop, you in the right space. After these tips, subscribe now and ring the bell. Then go to the park and give them hell. The Brute Squad is an organization. We adjust to the game, we don't want all the same shit. I play and switch his hands with the ball, we embrace it. We don't fall. When we get the ball in the fourth, I'm Chris Paul. Yo, don't know. Your boy Brutal Sim on the scene, wicked and mean, with a next video for y'all, man. So, y'all know what it is by now. Take some time out, bless up your boy, like up the video. Definitely help the channel out because you know, everybody gonna always put y'all up on game. Now, this was actually promised a while ago, so I finally got the tool. Shout out to my guy Jay Easy to make it simple to break it down for y'all. I got everything in my pen, my touchpad, everything, man. So, let's get straight into the video. We're talking about protecting the basketball, one of the biggest concerns for the 2K community. But I'll show y'all some simple steps right here in game breakdown and just show y'all how easy it is to protect your ball if you follow a few things right and i'm going to show y'all how to identify when uh, you know the most dangerous situations is or when you're most vulnerable to getting your ball plug all right so let's get straight into it let's get to the screen right here as i tell y'all i got everything set up for y'all right now we're gonna start show y'all some of the biggest mistakes starting off with this one right here now this is what the average point guard does right look at this right here very bad situation me and jay know what when to identify these situations y'all i'm telling y'all i love playing up there and you know perimeter defense with jay because we are on point with this one we do that all the time pinch check it out again and i want y'all to check out the next play of course the formula fast but check out this play right here right now of course me and jay easy again check out what we looking at what we looking at we looking at a rock we're looking at the rock right trying to set it up i'm trying to guide him towards jay easy across there of course and jay gonna pinch him and he's trying to look at this he gonna try to do that do not think y'all could split that defense this year you're vulnerable jay easy got a lot of he got high steals i don't necessarily have high steals this is one of my newer builds of course but what i could do is push him into jay easy right so let's put this on slow motion put it 50 percent speed real quick check it out he's strange look look always same exact thing push him towards jay easy the steel is there easy easy pluck and we do that all the time trust me we do it all the time it's easy money all day every day check this out again this next play all right i'm telling y'all bro it's like easy money right look now I'm there, Jay Easy is there. Do not think, look at this. Look at Jay hitting them the, the okie doke right there. Do not think Jay is paying attention to that dude, right? Do not think Jay's paying attention to that dude. But you know where my eyes are, right? I'm coming for the ball. But Jay's gonna come right back, y'all. He is coming right back. Again, you gotta keep your eyes and look at where the defenders at at all time, y'all. Check it out. Now Jay backing up, hitting my moonwalk. <laughs> Oh my god, you hit him with your man. Oh my god, I'm dying. That look funny as hell, my G. <laughs> and we are known for pressuring point guards. And as a point guard, I know what to look for, look out for. I know when they're the most vulnerable. And check this out again. This point guard is stubborn again. I'm gonna show you all some situation and how I approach these things, man right check it out he's pressing this time jay is actually starting off the press and i'm look at me i'm about because i'm noticed look at the shot clock down here i know y'all not noticing that check out the shot clock down there right he's right now on 19 right three more seconds he's dribbling too much in the background what is Brute gonna do i'm gonna come right here and press to create the wall so he could get that three seconds right Jay's already pressing him, forcing him to that direction. I already noticed that. So my defensive IQ already said, Brute, he's under some pressure, man. Help, help. Check it out. I'm telling y'all, easy money. Easy money. I'm about to go press. He backed up exactly what we want. Jay backed up. Give him a bump. 16 seconds. He got called for that backcourt. Now these are point guard mistakes. What he should have done, he should have pa paused, call for some help or something. Call someone in the middle of the floor and allow you know just a game uh for him to release the ball very easy very simple um uh, mistakes made but let's get straight to the fun parts of the video what you need to do 
to protect the ball. All right, so we're going to start from a point guard situation. Look at me getting pressed right now by this point guard. He thinks he's pressuring me, but eh, not, not, not that much. But of course, I know this. He's trying to lock off and guide me to one direction. And one thing you should not allow is someone to guide you to whatever direction they want you to go. Now, he's going to do a very good job of locking up that whole left side, of course, as you're all going to see right here, right? Playing good defense. I try to go back to the direction I want. He bumped me, bumped me. But believe it or not, I'm holding left trigger all the way. And you see how I came out of that right there? I actually came out of that holding that left trigger. Check it out. I was holding the left trigger all the way because I want to protect that ball. That's the left trigger is your friend's. Uh, it's your best friend as a point guard this year, y'all. Check it out. Hold it, pass, give and go. Easy dunk. Easy dunk. The give and go. Please, y'all. Please use your teammates this year. The give and go is so sweet this year, y'all. Trust me, that give and go is money, money, right? Now, check it out again. Coming down here, this time is a different situation. Check out the defenders right here, right here. Now, I'm in a danger zone. What I told y'all earlier, once you see two defenders is too close to each other, you're in problems. What I'm going to do, I'm going to protect the ball. And I saw Jay Easy running up here. Guess what? Who you gonna pass to? Use your teammates this year, y'all. Trust me, use your teammates this year. Protect the ball, Jay Easy wide open for the three. Expose them, expose them. Very bad defensive play by them. Of course, it would've worked on some rookie point guards who don't know how to protect the ball. Simple, hold that trigger. Your guys running open, use your teammates this year. Trust me, here again, this good dude guide me into a great defensive strategy right here against a rookie point guard of course it's a this is danger danger zone danger zone do not go there what am i going to do in this situation of course same thing again same thing again hold that left trigger clear out and then guess what open lane to the left straight to the basket for the dunk easy easy money easy money bro right so you gotta identify when those doubles are coming as you all know it's right there now we're gonna go into the rec show you all some you know it's a little bit more congested in the rec people tell me yo you don't play 5v5 i do and these are teams we'll run up like these were good teams we run up against pro-am teams right here you see the game was actually close right here so this is not trash teams right now as they throw out the ball right what i know this right here pause what do you all know this right there look at the heads bro look at the heads look at the heads look at the eyes his eyes is even watching me right there so what I'm going to do, as soon as I call the ball, I'm protecting the ball out the gate. Out the gate. As soon as I got the ball, I'm protecting the ball, holding down the left trigger. Check it out. Foul. Instantly, because I protected the ball. And I do not have that badge that when you catch it, it secures the ball. I don't, because this was when I was leveling up my player, right? I was actually leveling up my player right here. So as soon as I called the ball, I protected it instantly because i saw all the eyes on me and everyone was too close you're in the danger zone now let's continue again go through again and that's how you got start thinking i'm telling y'all that's how you gotta start thinking this is how you'll be successful in the game check out this gambit throwing this out to me right here what i'm looking for i'm looking for the closest defenders now i saw this dude up here caught trying to sneak sneak something here i saw this dude here this dude is running back to jay easy but i don't trust him quite as much this dude right here he's trying to sprint back but he could still pinch me as well right so we're going to show you all how to approach this now check it out i see i'm surrounded i'm going in the protect the ball situation to make sure all my teammates clear out to give me the space i need so i could operate right now he's still pressing hard trying to get around get to the steal check it out no success no success i pull the defenders and guess who's on top right there gambit right pass now remember the problem with this player right here right now is he only got a 70 steal because this is why i was in the wreck and leveling him up of course gavin made the extra pass but if my pass was all the way up it would have been there much faster and exposing the defense once again right very simple to expose these uh, these over aggressive lockdowns is really a detriment to their team if you're playing against small point guys. now look at this situation he's already in a very good position what do you think brook gonna do what do you think brook gonna do protect the rock protect the rock back up create that space that i need of course create that space that i need from him because he is a lockdown he already i think he might have 
you know already attacked me really aggressive and i was like nah bro i gotta be careful with him so backed up create that space and now i got the entire floor so i could work very simple got a cut there cut back he's playing good defense that ain't nothing protect the ball back up again create the open come on my g easy man easy then gammy got the bucket easy easy you all just need to know how to be patient you gotta be a little bit more patient gotta be a little bit more observant here again throwing the ball guess what defender is right on my hip what you gonna do what you gonna do as soon as you get the ball you're vulnerable you know when you receive passes you're very very vulnerable this year guess what protect the rock protect the rock look i'm bumping him because i'm protecting the rock protecting the rock right it's opportunity my guy gambit is there he could have shot that he didn't but then gambit gonna hit him give me the pass right there look at that very that was a bad bad sit you see that was me making a mistake right let me show y'all what mistake i made right if this defender was good he would have clipped me right there so i'm not perfect i am not perfect check it out gambit gave me the ball back right there and look that that defender pinch i'm in trouble that defender pinch i'm in trouble right but as soon as i saw that situation guess what i did behind the back move the ball away from him and pass the game now gammy gonna hit him this move i ain't gonna lie this is gammy's signature move he got the sharp take so he's a little bit more confident that's money <laughs> that's money y'all check out this situation again what i'm looking for what did i tell y'all I told y'all, look at the heads, the closest people. What he's trying to guide, he's trying to guide me here right now. Don't allow them to control your game. You control where you want to go in this game, right? So I take it to the middle because I notice he's trying to guide me to that sideline. And now I'm looking at my teammate right here, looking at this defender eye right here, he's looking here. You're looking at all the things that could cause trouble. So if I decide to split this, I'm in trouble. If I decide to go through here, I'm in trouble, bro. That is not the place you want to go at all, right? So what am I going to do? Mm -hmm, stop, clear up, protect the ball, analyze the whole situation. I'm looking, at, I'm looking at all the eyes that's aiming towards me. All of these eyes are towards me. Now, who is the most vulnerable? Now, someone, a, a regular point guard will say, ah, call the back door for him right there because he's pinching real life. And that might work, right? That might work. But... I know Gambit, me and Gambit got their pick and pop on lock. So what we gonna do? I say, Gambit, yo, I'm attacking you right now. Just make a quick cut and pop. Come on, my G. Come on, my G. Jeez, brute. You looking like a genius out here. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I already identif identified that. No, the reason why I did that, the Gambit guy, the person that was defending Gambit is not the fastest. So to change directions, it's easier for Gambit to change direction and my pass throw him in the right direction versus the Jay Easy making a back cut and a quicker point guard keeping up with someone helping, man. I know that's an easy bucket. I could trust Gambit as a shooter. So let's continue on, man. All right. Now this play right here again. What am I looking at? Where is the defender trying to push me? He's a little bit close, so I'm protecting going up the ball, the floor. There it is. I took it back in the center. You always want to try to avoid going to the sideline, y'all. Trust me, the sideline is pretty much an extra defender. This sideline right here is an extra defender. So you want to avoid them pushing you to one side or the next. Trust me, it's dangerous, right? So what I'm going to do again, I'm coming back, trying to come back to the center where I'm more comfortable, where I'm seeing the entire floor, right? So let's continue on, bring back to the center. Balance it off a little bit and guess who I see wide open? Oh my guy, J Easy. Oh, they was trying to send me that way. So they set up the defender this way, right? But guess who is this way? My guy J Bars. I'm telling y'all, man, I'm dropping that mixtape. I'm dropping that mixtape. Money. I'm telling y'all, bro, just by some patience, you could expose expose all these extra aggressive defenders y'all i'm telling y'all a little patience check this out again what i told y'all they're gonna try to guide you i know it's two of them right here oh danger zone danger zone danger zone danger zone guess what i'm trying to do protect that ball very very early and guess what i know this me and um get me down here i'm calling for my teammates yo i'm looking at y'all i'm looking at y'all i'm i'm 
bring in i'm kind of drawing their attention to me get ready to shoot get yourself in a position now i'll wait until my teammates settle because i know that the game gives you leading passes whenever you pass the rock too early while someone is moving so i'll wait till my teammate settle here is he here he is right here foot set foot set of course right and then guess what easy pass easy pass for the three easy pass bro easy pass very simple to expose these extra aggressive lockdowns bro they're not that dangerous some people don't know steals no it's not overpowered it, the beauty about steals being how it is now is that it gives lockdown some extra confidence and it, and it's gonna open up and break down their own defense if they reach up against smart point guards now again what i told you all you know, try to guide you to a direction that's what i do as a defender and the moment they bite it's trouble right let's go smarter point guard get it take it back to the center take it back to the center guess who's open watch my guy right here this defender is trying to run back but he's trying to hit me the okie doke kind of way so you watching these dudes this is the eyes you're watching i'm trying to wait till my teammate set his feet a little bit better right check it out wait wait set his feet there you go now you could get it pull that that come on my g come on my g come on my g i know he was looking at me i know because his teammate is full court pressing so i could beat him easy to the basket and now he's open for the shot easy money easy money y'all i'm telling y'all it's not rocket science y'all but you gotta be sharp you gotta be very you gotta be able to observe stuff very early right miss the rock coming down on the fast break check it out what i'm looking at i'm receiving the ball the defender is a little bit too close for comfort this defender is a little bit too close for comfort so what i'm gonna do protect the ball protect the ball protect the ball protect the ball now as soon as i'm about to pass right here because i saw my teammate just set his feet because you know the leading pass is how it works foul right foul and believe it or not i am playing right now with a 70 on my passing because i wasn't able to max it out at an 80 at the moment y'all and this is the last one i'll show you all real quick where am i defenders i'm still looking at him although i know he's looking at him i'm still looking at him he's trying to blitz me from the side defender he run into no man's land i already know that already i ain't even worried about him so what i'll do in this situation a normal pg would just run through and try to finish or you know do something like that but you got a defender running here he's probably gonna cover this if he's smart this one is pushing me to a direction he could get the chase down this one is sprinting back crazy as well right what is brook gonna do slow it down slow it down slow it down slow it down wait for your teammates you know what i mean wait for your teammates and then start working some now check it out i did the back door that back door right there was risky right because he is watching what i do as well smart defensive play trust me he's gonna pinch and help his teammate but what's brew gonna do because i know i pulled him i know my teammate is trailing as well he's gonna come down here he's trailing and hopefully my teammate is smart enough to watch the balance of the floor already got a guy here a guy here me here and one in the corner so someone is trailing right check it out come on my g a back door pause here he here he's coming slowly but surely for the easy pass and the easy three easy money y'all easy money so hopefully this video helped y'all out y'all seeing i'm breaking down play by play showing y'all what i'm looking at where you'll see like where you see the danger zones to stay out of and when you're most vulnerable how to avoid those situations and how to expose the defensive players man hopefully this video help you all out and if you all want some more make sure like up the video and put it in the comment section i'm having fun with this man shout out to my guy jay for putting me onto this app trust me you're gonna see a bunch of a bunch more breakdowns high iq plays i got some defensive tutorials and all that coming out for y'all as well anyways y'all till next time Oh, bless one be safe out there y'all peace and if you got some more time make sure to check out my tiktok and my twitch i will be streaming them there every day from three till and on tiktok as well for short more compressed formats of these videos will be there as well as i'm going to be streaming there as well man anyways y'all till next time be safe out there y'all peace